Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summer Night 5. Today, I am starting up by doing some missions, and after completing a few of them, we get a little cutscene. Yeah, it seems like every five or so missions, you get a little scene. So, yeah, what's the reward? Okay. Well, it's really been experience and items that's been motivating me, but sure, some random reward can motivate me as well. Okay, what do you got? Ooh! Yeah, she actually joined your summon cluster! Your code? Wow, there's a lot of things reminding me of Arkwise Fantasia in this game. Okay. Oh. Well, that's true. Oh, well, awesome! Great! No, I'm not disappointed at all. You're actually really pretty damn good. Okay. She's very expensive, though. Ooh, we got a nice little illustration as well. So let's go ahead and check her out since uh, she's here anyway. Let's see, where is she? Uh, oh, there she is. Uh, what are your skills? Yeah, it's a very expensive attack, but it is actually a large area of effect attack, and it is machine-based blue, so Callus finally has access to an area of effect attack. And her party skill isn't half bad either. Basically, it makes so that um, various status ailments don't last as long, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, I still have a few more missions um, to accomplish, Looks mostly these ones right here. These are cannon missions, so let me go ahead and uh, keep on rolling with these. Meet you in a second. So I got all those missions done, so let's get on out of here. Last time, we found out that um, Gift pretty much game like a nether moon or he's flying up in the air and then uh, little kind of droplets of nether are falling all over the planet. But what's going on with uh, young Hua over here? Oh, the princess! Yeah, she mentioned you a while ago. What's going on now? Um, she said it's dangerous and you're here so there must be somebody after you, I assume. Oh. Huh. I wonder what her deal is, like, why is somebody after her, or why is it dangerous to be here? Okay... Then what did you mean? Oh. Oh, that's right, she has been detailing all these reports back to her master, who I assume is the Dragon Princess. Yeah, you haven't really been successful in your mission, I've got to say. Oh, yeah, so what are you going to do about it, Yang Hua? We've tried to stop Ernst and Gift on multiple occasions. Well, in her defense, she has actually said, hey, you know, um, we really should be arresting them rather than talking to them. Would you like some tea? Would you like some coffee? Why don't you rest? You're in no condition to fight. You just rest, and once you're better, we'll kick your ass later. Like, the whole thing is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, okay, so she's the leader of the Oka Division. Oh, okay. You know, I would love to see the job interview application for this job. Like, seriously, like, like, what is it? You have to have a D cup or plus to, to get in? Like, it, the whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, as long as you have huge boobs, you can join my organization. If you're flat-chested, sorry, you're shit out of luck. Like, like, seriously? Like, who else are they hiring for this? <laughs> Oh, wait, your work here is done. Are you firing her? Oh. Oh. Well, maybe she'll get some implants, and then you can, you know, give her a raise. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, like, look at the Dragon Princess, and look at Young Hua. And then look at the other girls in this game. And believe me, I'm not really one to look at girls like that, but... Come on, they're right in your face. Oh, but what if she doesn't want to quit or get fired? Yeah, that's, um... She doesn't want to leave Arca. She doesn't want to leave her summon group. Oh, she's going to defy orders? Oh, wow, huh. So, Yang Hua actually does have a heart. Maybe it's been blocked by her massive boobs, but sure, whatever. She has a heart. She's... I guess nice at the core, she doesn't always follow her mission. Yeah, like the whole world is in danger. 
You can't turn back now. Yeah, you've got to let us stay. Oh. Huh. I'm getting Final Fantasy Legend 2 flashbacks right here about having, with like, women having an ugly voice or ugly mannerisms. Reminds me of, um, ugly boss that we had to take care of in that game. I really liked Final Fantasy Legend 2. Of all the Final Fantasy Legend games, that's the one to me that really stood the test of time. The first one was kind of rough, if you know what I mean. The third one, it was more Final Fantasy Mystic Quest-ish. The second one, it was just a blast. It was just a freaking blast to play. Oh, wow, so she's being completely stripped of all of her Oka privileges. Oh, a path to redemption. Oh, well, what do you want her to do? Well, what is it? Okay, is it a bomb package? Oh, the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's something. It's a royal treasure. Okay, we'll just call it that, the royal treasure. Sure. Oh, okay... Oh, I see. So, to me, the Dragon Princess isn't really mad at Yang Hua. She understands why she's not able to leave. So she's giving her a royal treasure. That's kind of nice. Oh, and you have to have tea with her. Sure. Okay. Yeah, she is rather unusual, I must say. Maybe she'll even brew you some of her legendary coffee. Everybody seems to love it. By the way, that thing that Yang Hua just got... It is a piece of equipment. It's completely and utterly useless, though. And it is equippable by Yang Hua only. Basically, what it does is it makes Nether Control only work 50% of the time. But I've yet to be afflicted by Nether Control, either in my pl in my uh, playtests or in this run-through through the game. And both Arca and Spinel have a way to cure Nether Control. So why would I, you know, give this to her? And it also raises your yokai resistance by 20%, which I guess could be useful, but like, for a legendary royal treasure, like, it's really disappointing. But there's something that's not disappointing if we go over here to the owner's shop. Hey, uh, what I want to do is buy a couple of things. Way on down here, the Four Worlds Ring. Raises your defense and magic defense by 7, raises all your resistances by 10%, and gives you um, your summon rank up to B rather than C. We've had the um, all-purpose walk for the entirety of the game, pretty much, on everybody, giving us summon level C, but now we can go ahead and get summon level B for everybody, so that's really very nice. It allows us to access... Um, pretty much all the summons that I care about, except for like the summon level S's and A's and all that. So it allows us to use um, skills from like, um, who is it? I think it's like Peiko. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, Peiko, his skill, his Starblink skill is rank level B. So basically, nobody else has been able to use uh, purple or spirit magic except for Arca and Spinel this entire game because it was rank B. And the Holy Sheep attack was rank C, but it's literally just sleep. It deals no damage, it's just sleep. And um, this one, it's just a heal. So, yeah, it actually gives us access to a purple attack for somebody else. So, that's pretty damn nice. Let's see what Laura has to say as well. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. Oh, that's right, she had her uh, treasure chest go and... Um, Attack everybody. That's kind of cool. Hi, Torque. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, I've already went and I upgraded all my weapons and everything off screen when I was doing the missions. Okay. Yeah, I kind of agree with that order. Wait. Oh, I did not want to come here. No, you can't help me. Get away from me. No! What I want to do now is head over to the outskirts, because we got a couple of events over here that we need to uh, deal with. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> I need to change my oil filter. I guess that's his way of saying, like, he peed his pants. That's kind of funny. Oh, what did you say? Yeah, go to the shelter, blah, blah, blah. We'll catch up with you. You guys are good. Well, let's see what Raijin's up to. 
kind of like Raijin. He's a strange bird, but I like him. Whoa! Yeah, don't mess with the best! Um, they will be back. They multiply and they don't die. Oh, of course we're bursting with strongness. So are you. Oh, yeah. Is it like that fear rain that we had to deal with in the Magical Land of Waz? Because that was kind of a mess. I loved that game. That's another game that I'm really considering re-let's playing because whenever I played it, I had a horrid microphone. I literally didn't have a microphone at all. I had the little microphone that came with my laptop that I used to record this, and um, I didn't even have like an office setup. It was just something that I did in my spare time, literally sitting on my bed. I would sit here and record these episodes with my laptop on my lap, sitting on my bed, and um, like, so in those older videos, you could hear, you know, me kind of moving around, you could hear um, the scuffling of the sheets, you could hear just a muffled voice, it was just bad. But since then, I've actually went and I've dedicated an entire room of my house to this recording. Um, I've went, I've bought um, a new microphone, I bought new controllers, I bought a much, much more powerful laptop than the one that I had earlier, because literally, I used my laptop as like a Facebook and email machine. I mean, that was it. I, you know, you Google stuff, or you look up recipes and all that kind of stuff, um, but, you know, it wasn't like I played games on it or anything back then, except for, you know, SNES or NES emulation. So, yeah, like, Steam wasn't a big thing for me back then. I didn't really even know what Steam was. I remember I asked on, like, the Game FAQ's message board, I was like, what the hell is Steam? Because I had never heard of it. Like, I grew up with the NES and the Game Boy and the SNES, and then, you know, you go off to college, you start real life, you work a job, blah, 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 and, you know, just certain things bypass you. I didn't know what it was, but since then, I have learned, and I love Steam. I heard that there's something else, GOG, GOG, I don't know what it stands for, but I've never really used it, but Steam fulfills my... Um, online gaming needs, I guess you would say. Not that I play online games anymore, I did that with EverQuest, which completely took over my life. It was a fun game, I loved it, but yeah, I'm glad to not play any kind of massive multiplayer RPGs anymore. When I say online games, I mean like games that, I, I guess digital downloads is really what I'm trying to say here. Wow, you guys are still going on! Man. Okay. You know, it's kind of strange to me that Abert is Raijin's pupil. You would think that Soken would be, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, that's true. And we've already dealt with all the criminals in this game. We don't have any more to deal with. All the worst of them either died or they joined our party. The other ones are just trash mobs that you can take care of pretty easily. Oh, okay. Well, um, I would say that Abert would, but he hasn't been in my party since, like, he first joined. <laughs> He's been relegated to the sidelines for quite some time now. Yeah, he won't let you down. He's only level 4, and he does nothing for me. I don't even use his crappy party skill, but sure, he won't let you down. Whoa! Wow, yeah, these guys are all over the place, aren't they? We have much strength! I like Ragin. I like the way that he talks. Like, I could... Maybe if there was voice acting along with him, I would find it to be rather grating or annoying. But there isn't, and I don't. I like it. Your name is Blunt? Really? That's about as bad as Cooter. <laughs> Every time I hear the name Cooter, I just or, or, or think of, like, ridiculous names. I think of Neighbor Cooter. Like, who would name their kid Cooter? Like, the thing is so... This is so stupid, God! It's, it reminds me of, like, a boy named Sue. You know, you, you want your child to grow up tough? Name him Cooter. Like, <laughs> uh, my apologies for anybody out there named Cooter, but... Come on. Okay, so, over here, we have to, um... See Money Money Angel again. 
Yeah, I was told in the comments the first time that we met up with her that her name isn't exactly Main Main, it's Mane Mane, and Mane in Japanese translates to Mimic. So basically, she is, you know, copying Arca. But I kind of already knew that she was copying Arca, considering that she's a complete replica of her, except for her hair, halo, and eye color. I'm not really a fan of red eyes. They're kind of creep me out. I do like the purple eyes, though. Oh, yeah, your memories. That's right. The last time we saw her, we were returning that stolen staff of memories that I believe it was Nasia took from her. And uh, she wasn't able to recover any of her memories. But now she knows who she is, she knows what she is, and she has her purpose in life. So that should be pretty nice. Oh, yeah, thanks. You're kind of sweet. We haven't seen you in ages, but you're still kind of sweet. Oh, what's Ruli doing over here? I always have to wonder if Saida would have been the person to take care of, um, what is it? The, the angel spirit world if uh, Spinel wasn't our cross. I kind of think that, like, if you chose a different cross, that your cross would be saving its corresponding world, if you catch my drift here, but I'm not entirely sure. I went through my playtest run using Spinel because she's so much better, and I'm using Spinel now. So if any of you have played through using a different cross and you happen to know some of the differences or changes that occur, um, depending on which cross you use, hey, let me know in the comments. I'd really be interested in that sort of stuff. Oh, okay. Nameless, thankless NPCs. Saving them left and right. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, well, you know, if it's for their safety, you probably should tell them to abandon their fields. I mean, I know that you want them to live their nice little rustic life and all that, but it's not going to do them any good if they're dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Worrying doesn't add a single day to anybody's life. Worrying is the biggest waste of time that you could do. Like, has worrying ever helped anybody? Like, okay, so you might be able to, you know, you can use worrying as a time to think and contemplate how you can improve, but worrying is a fruitless action. It doesn't do anything to increase your happiness, increase your money, increase your, um, you know, family relations, anything like that. Like, it doesn't do anything to help anybody. So let's go back to the U-Cross and uh, talk to Rodelia. See what's going on over here. Oh, well, no problem. Yeah, no kidding. There were a lot of them. Oh, well, that's no good. Oh, yeah, they're all over the place. Oh, really? Oh, that's no good at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, what can we possibly do? Oh, are you talking about Rex or are you talking about Zinzala? Oh, well, that's good, at least. Well, if we keep on fighting, maybe the uh, moon will just run out of droplets to fall on the Earth? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, he doesn't tell us anything! The legend will revive. What legend? What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, we can do one final push. Keep on trying to rid the land of all these uh, nether beasts. Of course, you gotta try. A vitamin B shot. <laughs> I used to get vitamin B shots, um, I don't know, 10 something years ago whenever I lived in Atlanta. I needed the energy, so it helped. I mean, I don't do it anymore, but it helped. Okay, let's do it to it! And we're gonna continue going around and uh, helping people out next time on Let's Play Summon 8 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.